Uh, I don't sugarcoat anything. I call it as I see it. Some of these bolts are bare uh, to get to. Hey everyone, this is Dave from Repair Daily. So we've got another project and I'm kind of excited about this one. So over here you see my X mark. Um, this is a Laser Z five foot, 60 inch cut. Um, it beats me to death. I am getting older, I'm not as young as I used to be. And uh, this thing just kills me to, to mow my couple acres here. So anyway, I ordered a suspension seat uh, actually a suspension to fit under the seat. So that's what I'm going to install. I'm going to show you how, how I'm going to do this, how, how well it works, and uh, just stay tuned. Okay, I wanted to show you what I have here. This used to be a, a fleet mower. Uh, I bought it, I don't know, 15 years ago and only had like 400 hours on it. It now has 900. Um, but anyway, uh, I wanted to show you how this is all works. Here's my new uh, suspension, and it's gonna fit underneath my, my seat here. I will get this uh, camera up uh, on a tripod so you can show, so you'll be able to see clearly what, what it's, I'm doing here. So I wanna see how well it goes and how well it works afterwards. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so uh, I ordered this on uh, on Amazon, and uh, it has a note right on the top that says suspension mounts between the seat and the sliding tracks. Uh, spacers may be needed to, on some lower models. Um, and they also have an installation video at uh, the company site. Let's get it open, lay out the parts, see what we've got here. This is a fairly heavy box. I don't know, probably 20 pounds, 25 pounds, maybe even a little bit more than that. Okay, so we have our instruction sheet. Fairly well detailed here. We have the bolt pack, bolt and washers. And let's take a look at this thing. First impressions, uh, it's built fairly heavy here. Uh, it seems to be pretty nice quality. It seems to be powder coat. Has directions right here on it. Mount this side up and this end forward. This is the, uh, the adjustment to make it soft or firm on the ride. Uh, so yeah, everything looks pretty simple. Uh, we will need to get our stock seat off, so let's go get that off. Okay, so I've just tilted the seat up uh, to show that the seat is actually mounted to slide rails, and then the slide rails are mounted to this frame here. Now, the safety switch on this mower, the sex mark, and this is an older X mark, like I've already mentioned. It's down here. So this uh, safety switch is actually pushing on this frame. So what I'm going to do, uh, we're just gonna unbolt the seat from this frame. We'll get it out on the floor and then we'll remove these slide brackets. Um, so now that I have it down here and I'm looking, um, there's no easy way to get to these these bolts so I can see from this panel here that we need access from underneath to, to hold the bolts and so what we're going to do here and I already did it on this is you take these two bolts loose to remove the seat bottom now on mine of course there's always issues nothing ever goes really smooth this one came out easily this one was stuck in the wood and it and it wore a spot out in the woods so i'm going to have to make a bracket and um, take care of that issue but hopefully you won't have that problem i won't go through all of the repair on the seat to get it back on here but i just wanted to show you that that's what needs done that allows us to get to the underneath side let me pull these bolts out so i don't 
screws in. This one's actually fastened because it ripped out of the seat. So when I flip this over, you can see now we can get to the bottom or actually the top of the slide in order to get the slide out. So this new suspension is going to go between this plate and this slide. So these need to come off. Okay, so let's run these off real quick. I lube them to break them loose. And there's the other one. Noticing that they do have a spacer washer on, uh, on one end towards the leading edge of your seat there's a there's a spacer washer so let's get everything else set up okay so um, here I have my handy dandy little stool I always like to keep a piece of white foam around I don't know if it, you guys ever do that kind of thing but it helps taking the seat flipping it upside down and setting it on my stool we're gonna check the fit like that so I can see all the the holes and now we'll bring up the suspension and the suspension said mount this side up now we have our seat upside down so we're gonna flip this over and this end forward so this goes to the front of the seat so we will flip it this direction so now it's correct that's the right side up and let's look oh nice so I've got, I'm looking at holes on all the corners here. They all line up, which is a wonderful thing. And I will get this bolted on and then we'll put our track back on and then we'll deal with getting it uh, on our tractor. Okay, so we're gonna have a slight change of plans here. As uh, I've got the, the bracket uh, all bolted down to the seat plate here that we'll be putting the cushion back on underneath here. But anyway, um, these slide brackets, um, there's adjustable holes here you can see. So what I'm going to do to make sure I get all this stuff lined up uh, first time is I'm going to go over here to my tractor and on the mower I'm going to take this plate here off. I'm gonna remove this bolt, that bolt, and this support right here. And then I'll take this bracket over and set it on top of this suspension here. Well, actually on the bottom. And get all the holes lined up on that bracket. And then I'll tighten it all up. And then we'll lift the entire unit up and put it back on the, on the tractor. Okay, so that actually worked out uh, nicely. I took this plate off of the X mark and uh, it allowed me to move these bolts around so everything lined up. And everything did line up nicely actually on this X mark. It doesn't look like I'm gonna need any kind of spacers or anything. I will get this all bolted back down and we'll get it mounted back to the mower. Okay, so, uh, I have the bracket all bolted up uh, to my the bracket that was on the mower. I had removed this bracket from the mower so I could get all the bolts to line up, which they did very nicely. Uh, I don't sugarcoat anything. I call it as I see it. Some of these bolts are bare uh, to get to once it's mounted on the plate. Um, I may have thought that through a little bit more about what to bolt together where, but they are all tight. It wasn't that bad. Uh, you do have to uh, uh, maneuver wrenches to get into a couple of these. But anyway, it's on here. It's all mounted. Uh, I have to repair my seat bottom and before I can try this. So I have to go take care of that so I don't have a metal plate. And I'm not going to go through the repair on this seat, but I do want to show you what happens. Um, 
when you unbolt the seat, you can see from the years of use and the weather and so on, these kind of get rotted out. That one held, this one did not, it ripped out. So I'm going to make a bar. I have welders and things, so I'm going to make a bar to go across here with a nut right there so I can bolt this back on. I'm not going to show all that. I will show you once I have it back on and uh, we will give it a test and see how it works. Wow, that's all I can say, wow. This made such a big difference. Um, tip though, don't make your decision in the first two, three, four minutes that you jump on this thing. Um, make sure you have it adjusted right, and we'll talk about that here in a moment. But um, what I found is when I'm running along, after a few minutes, I noticed that that my legs were bending, but my rear and my, my thighs were just kind of shifting around. And I could feel this thing working, and uh, it, it made a huge difference. So I'm sure uh, after I use this for a while, um, it's going to make a big difference on my back. And I can already tell it. All, like I said, all I can say is, wow, it's awesome. Highly recommend it can be some hassle putting it on. Definitely worth it. Would I do the hassle again? Absolutely. No doubt about it. Um, very pleased with the product and it's made in USA. So I'm going to put links in the description below about what I used and so on. And if you like this kind of information, I really appreciate it. If you like, subscribe to the channel and, uh, Let's talk real quick um, about this suspension, how to adjust it properly for you. What I found, and I'm familiar with suspension with other, with other items, but anyway, your adjustment right here underneath the seat, um, you can turn it to stiffer or softer. What I found works the best. I would keep turning it to where when I sit, on the seat, it deflects approximately half of the travel. So if I grab the edges of my tank and pull down, I can feel it give and I let go and I pop back up. So I'm floating in that middle of the suspension. Works absolutely great guys, no joke. Highly recommended, I wish I would have done it a long time ago, um, but I've recommended it to all my friends. So hey, if you like the information, thumbs up, like, subscribe, I'll see you on the next video.